guys, this is Gothic Sushi. I am at this awesome place. Have you ever seen a turtle? Turtles are amazing. Check these little creatures out. Look at them swimming with his little finny fins. Those are his finny fins. And then check this man, bear, pig, sloth creature of prehistoric time period. I don't know what that is, but you can find out what that is at Caloosacom. Con. And I'm here with a Leatherface Joker hybrid. So I'm just gonna guess that you're a huge fan of also Leatherface, the horror franchises. Yes. yes. Do you have a favorite? The original. The original? Originals it, are always the best. Because it has that, that 70s grindhouse kind of feel. And the best, the best one in the series. There's a bee. Oh shit, there's a wasp on you. So Gothic Sushi, Kalusukan, the best mix indeed. Yes. What is your best side? Would you rather sit in your left side, right side? What looks better for you? Um, every side is my best side. I mean, I'm not Tony. I don't need to wear a mask to hide this pretty face. She is Power Girl or Marvel Power Girl. Power Girl. He doesn't even know. He's totally mixing up <laughs> DC and Marvel right now. <laughs> you just messed that up so much. Here we have. Gothic sushi. Kalusicon, gothic stuff, and sushi. Can't get better than that. Is there sushi? I heard there's tacos. There's some alligators over there. I mean, I mean, I think they can make some mean can sushi. You make alligator sushi? Is that a thing? I don't think so, but we're gonna make it a thing we're today. Going off track. So we could just like sit. So I'm fine. Let's sit. Let's sit. So, you know, the last th time I read something about your character, you were quite evil in Civil War. Evil? Civil War II. I would never be, what? You're obviously friends with Tony. Yeah, definitely. Tony's the man, right? No, no he's not. <laughs> he is corrupted by his own power. Yeah, baby, yeah! How long did it take you to make this armor? Uh, this one about a month with painting and attaching and actually wearing, so it takes and this a while. Is your is this your first no, one this is or like no? My eighth suit that I own. That's another one of my suits there. Um, this is my eighth one I made. So this is like a culmination of all my works. This is all my techniques put together. My first suit didn't look this good, but yeah, this is my best one so far. And do you yourself play Destiny often? Not as much as I should, um, but I'm more into the theming and the character aspect. So I look at video games a little different. I look at them for the characters, and if I can create that in real life, that's my that's my goal with what I do. I like to bring the virtual world into reality. Jim Dexter here at Calusa Con. What's the city? What's the city? What city are we in? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. I think. <laughs> Great. So we are at Fort Myers, and we're here with the aquatic group. And we want to know what made you be an aquatic group. Um, we had to swim. <laughs> we're coastal, so you gotta be aquatic. Great. So we're coastal. We have to be aquatic. Now, what brings you to these conventions nowadays? Um, to meet people that are land based yeah you know you just gotta spread your horizons you know there's not a whole lot of folks down uh, under the sea so you gotta come on top side every once in a while manatees get boring <laughs> uh, so real quick I just want to know what is your favorite thing comics anime or movies uh, 
movies, <laughs> Netflix. I think, I think I'd have to say anime for me. Okay, so what's your favorite anime right now? Ooh, uh, my favorite anime of all time is probably Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Did you like the live action? I actually haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm kind of scared to watch it. Me neither. I heard it sucks. But, w you know, we're going to check it out and we're going to definitely review that pretty soon. Now, what do you like? Uh, Altered Carbon on Netflix. Ooh, Amazing. That is a good one. So good. So, tell me, what's so good about it? <laughs> um, the storyline is so in-depth. It's based in the future. There are all these intricate storylines. It's incredible. I recommend it for everyone. Yeah, the world building Except, and yes. the plot and the character development are great. The whole concept uh, behind uh, KalusaCon was to mix uh, nature with geeks for one day uh, instead of your traditional, you know, doing a comic con or a comic book convention just at a, a regular building or either at a hotel or at a convention center. So we wanted to mix it up a little bit by bringing in the cosplayers, the, the comic book dealers and the toy dealers. What brings you to Calusacon? Uh, all the amazing people and animals and geeky stuff that I, I love to see. Yeah, I've seen, I saw a bald eagle over here. Yes. It wasn't really bald, and I saw a skunk. Have you guys played with the animals yet? Uh, I'm not a fan of snakes, and there is actually some snakes in this room over here I to my right. Stop holding them. Yeah, and uh, she can't stop holding them. Well, here's a, here's a question Are you two a couple? We yes. are. Yes, we are. On Valentine's Day, how, what does a geek couple do? Uh, well, actually, <laughs> believe it or not, be, this is funny, but we actually don't do any cosplay stuff <laughs> because uh, we cosplay so much and it is such a large part of our lives mm -hmm. and time consuming. We actually treat real holidays as real holidays. As you can see, romance is, you know, a thing of every day. You take it away from the vacation times. You become, I guess, normal people. That's right. Yeah, yeah, normal people. <laughs> it's over 9,000! So I have to say, it's beautiful. Did you make this yourself? How did you do it? Yeah, um, I did make it out of EVA foam and craft foam. Um, I layered it in Plasti Dip and Mod Podge and then I painted over it um, well, with spray paint and then um, acrylic paint. About how long do you think that it took you to make all this? So I was kind of in a rush to do it, so I did it in about three weeks or so. Why is this? My name is Mr. Anderson. I am the Unboxable Advocating Creator talking to you today about And They Call Us Monsters. And They Call Us Monsters is a story of the classic universal monsters you thought you knew, but it turns out that they're, they're all human beings with genetic disorders that Hollywood has now used against them to make money on the silver screen. But what happens when bodies begin to pile up around them? They have to solve a crime they didn't commit to prove they're not the monsters that Hollywood claims them to be. Why did you create SpaceCon for? Oh, we've been in Fort Myers for about five years now, and there was a gap where there was no comic book conventions going on, and we really missed that event, and we wanted to have that kind of thing down here again. So we took a big risk, took a big chance, and did it. June 16th and 17th at Elise Civic Center is basically a comic book convention and sci-fi convention, and we're featuring Marina Sirtis from Star Trek, the Power Rangers, Michael Copan. We've got Kevin McConnelly, The Walking Dead's Vincent Ward, Quentin Flynn. And ticket prices are only $10 um, plus $5 parking. Go to SpaceCon! I'm Cinderella Cosplay, and I'm here with the owner of this amazing Dragon Ball car. Um, please tell me a little bit about this car. Uh, it's a 91 Miata MX-5. Um, it was just a little project car my daughter actually gave me the idea for. She wouldn't let me sell it, and she begged me to do a Dragon Ball Z themed car, and little by little, just ideas were random and made them come true on the car. Nice, nice. I noticed that there is a Vegeta on the driver's side and a Goku on the passenger side. Is there any significance behind that? Yeah, I personally believe Vegeta's the better fighter. She believes Goku's the better fighter, but we came to the agreement since we didn't want to do the whole car one character. Goku was on her side, Vegeta's my side. I agree with the Vegeta statement. Vegeta <laughs> is the better, vil well, not villain, mediocre, frenemy. Switzerland, frenemy. I like that term, frenemy. And I've noticed that there's like all sorts of cool details in there. You have things from like Dragon Ball shifter knobs and everything. 
So what you're telling me is this car is over 9,000. Correct? Eventually I'll get to that horsepower. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. So for the best question, are we able to like actually get in it and listen to it? Of course. We are so doing that. Don't forget to follow us and subscribe to us down here. And don't forget to like us. We had a good time. And keep smiling, be good to yourselves, and peace.